I guess Warner owns this movie now, so Discovery Channel. Let's get this out of the way now. This movie sets up the audience with this opening reading sin to immediately let us know that this shouldn't be taken seriously. As if things like having fun are more important than poking plot holes and pointing out continuity errors. Fun lovers be damned, let's tear this 60 year old movie to shreds. They do this bit three times with the text, more text, some kissing, and even more text so we know we're about to watch a movie that's willing to beat a dead horse. Two full minutes of why the f is this police force using spotlights with colored gels on them opening credits. This yacht is bringing a revolutionary scientific MacGuffin. to Gotham City. Holding your shade brother like this when your shadow clearly shows the light is coming from this angle. Hell, I think you can even see this rainbow monstrosity shadow all the f way over here. Get in the game, Alfred. I wonder if they ever ride each other's poles just for fun. <laughs> this instant costume change lever may be the best instance of a movie saying, f you, this is a thing and we're not going to explain it. I love it. However, for obvious reasons, saying, f you, this is the thing and we're not going to explain it is a sin. Also, this sign doesn't say instant costume bat change lever. The iconic 60s Batman theme is now playing over this Batmobile departure and f me, I'm only human, guys. Batmobile's airport, red alert. Prepare Batcopter for immediate takeoff. Being as wealthy as Bruce Wayne and not building your own Batcopter bat hangar on your own bat property. Is the idea that these eight women were just out having their semi-annual helipad bikini party and Batman happened to pass by? Or is it that there's a group that studies Batman's helicopter usage like he's Taylor Swift or some sh and mobilizes a sort of bikini sky cheer team? Genuinely hope it's the second because that's just baller. Welcome back to Observing Oopsies. So, do you think in the 60s they thought about the safety concerns of just adding bat wings to helicopters? Hmm, true. Those things look dangerous. Dangerous, right? Yeah, scary. So scary. It seems to me the creators were more concerned about maintaining their avant-garde take on a bat person's personal transportation than flight stability. Hmm, you could say they prioritized it looking bat ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. Altitude, 317. Sink rate, 0.49. Everyone hold on to your hats. Robin is doing calculations. Drop bat ladder. Bat ladder away. Having the person already holding the sink rate detector push a button that's just as close to you as it is to them. Batman's kind of a bat dick, no? Am I going guano loco or did they just use a shot of Batman outside the bat copter right before they cut to a close up of him inside the bat copter? Later we'll find out that this boat is a projection, but no explanation will be provided for the wake this boat is creating. But Jeremy, if they can project a boat, can't they project a wake as well? Maybe. But I have this instant sin lever that prevents me from having to explain myself any further. This shark pissing everywhere like they weren't allowing bathroom breaks on set. <laughs> no. Hand me down! The shark repellent bat spray! Picking the most confusing name for your shark spray. If you end with bat spray, I'm going to assume I'm supposed to spray it on bats. Batman needs to take some marketing and branding classes from Gotham U. Leaving home without the orca repellent, those bastards will destroy you! This shark sucks at its job and should have successfully bitten Batman's leg off already. A transatlantic yacht approaching this city simply disappeared. Without this retroactive exposition, it wasn't super clear exactly what the f just happened. Here's your thank you sin. I stand on my answer, Mr. Merrick. Nonsense! You can't stand on a verbal communication. This yacht, I believe, belonged to the famous Big Ben distilleries. That's right. And isn't the firm's proprietor, Commodore Smithlap, bringing with him a fantastic new invention from the Big Ben's research laboratory? Just because you brought the news part into the room with you doesn't make it any less news position. Impossible. Indeed. If Robert and I were to remove our masks, the secret of our true identities would be revealed. Confusing impossible with inadvisable. Under this garb, we're perfectly ordinary Americans. You are not. Batman and Robin are fully deputized agents of the law. The fact that they deputized Batman and Robin, even though... Not even Commissioner Gordon and myself know who they really are. Is wild. Support your police. That's our message. Holy contradictory and cranky coercive propaganda, Batman. Status report. Known super criminals not currently imprisoned. The Penguin. This report has a narrated intro for context, but then just pictures, as if it knew it needed to leave the following ham-handed rogue galleration to the Batman crew. You mean by there's a fish there could be a penguin? But wait! It happened at sea. See? See for Catwoman! These four will now take some tenuous strings and tie a theory together that all the criminals are involved. And they will be right. As if the Joker piped up and said, Hey, let's have an exploding shark pull Batman's leg. So they'll know I'm totally involved too because the Joker would also pull people's legs. Bars filled with cutthroats, brigands, and discount Daniel Craig's cliché. 
This guy was fighting by the door when Kitka walked in and managed to fight all the way across the room just to be back in front of her right before she went upstairs. It's like the production wasn't willing to pay more than one person however much it costs to take a punch. This uncensored nipple. The Hayes Code must have been in its last dying moments to let this kind of smut sneak through. Let's talk about the design choices of this logo. Making the words bend around these corners is an affront to readability. And they chose a shape with eight sides and an animal with eight arms when as far as we know, this rogues gallery of villains only has four members. It would have been more appropriate to go with a trapezoid and a cute puppy. This super criminal organization took the time to commission intricate thematic wall art, but decided that Joker's private sign would be on a different shelf than penguins and Riddlers. As if that's not the most annoying thing I've ever seen ever. Batman's boots didn't even look damp. Considering there was likely quite some time between the helicopter outing and the press conference, I must unfortunately announce that Catwoman would be pretty terrible at cinema sins. Commodore Schmidlap will never feel the need to leave his cabin, and that bugs the shit out of me. Who goes on a boat and not once wants to go above deck to look out at the horizon as they try not to vomit? <laughs> Clearly a flawless ocean impression going on here that would fool just about anyone. But quick question, wouldn't a recording do most of this better than having a human sit there all day? Come on team, get rid of the human workforce in favor of machines like the real villains do. Catwoman, you tend to this headquarters. This movie really didn't know what to do with Catwoman, so occasionally it just writes her out of the scene. This Dutch angle is so drastic and unnecessary, even Dick Schoof was like, whoa, that's a bit excessive, isn't it? But was blocked by the Bat Camera's polarized Bat Filter. There's no rhyme, reason, or riddle to how they decide which technologies get a fun Bat moniker. There's a interdigital Bat Sorter, but no Bat Magnifying Lens. There's a Bat Analyst, but no Bat Navigational Aid Computer. And don't even get me started on the super fine Bat Grain on the not Bat Film Developing Tank. Typing with gloves on. Having a pole cushion on your dock that will need replacing every few weeks because of the corrosive nature of the ocean air and the birds who will peck the stuffing out for nests or possibly choke on it and die because they thought it was food. The extremely obvious helicopter blade spinning at the top of this shot. I certainly hope you know what you're doing, Penguin. Pulling your mask off to talk and completely negating the mask properties you were wearing it for. <laughs> I don't know what this noise is, but the subtitles tell me it's quacking. A noise not known to come out of the front end of a penguin. What cruelty! Stuffing a poor shark with a ton of deadly TNT! True. Especially if it's a bull shark. That would truly be abominable. Until it exploded. Then it would be no bull. Well, shit. This movie's writing is apparently now eating my brain. Salt and corrosion. The infamous old enemies of the crime fighter. No prints here. This you to those who thought Pattinson's The Batman was the first Bat movie to emphasize his role as the world's greatest detective. Been there the whole time, nerds. The whole time, I say. Batman, we're helpless in this monstrous invisible grip. Is the movie suggesting that they don't know how to take a belt off? Because I might need a do-over on that world's greatest detective thing I just said. Five, four, three, two. The Penguin will keep doing these countdowns like he knows cinema sins will exist in the future, and he gets a kick out of wasting my time. I truly miss this caliber of villain. He must be using a super energy reverse polarizer. Mr. Joker, fire three! I'm not sure which is more sinful. That Penguin guesses the exact bullshit science Batman is using to explode his torpedoes, or that he decides to fire a third just for the hell of it anyway. Yo! Premature celebration begins. It was noble of that animal to hurl himself into the path of that final torpedo. <laughs> a fucking dolphin took a torpedo for them. <laughs> this movie goes so fucking hard. Now I'll have to look that up. I have a faint memory of using a library before computers, and it all seems like a fever dream now. But that won't stop me from sending this admiral looking up important information into Rolodex, like that is where he would have filed it away next to the number for his favorite pizza shop. Disposing of pre-atomic submarines to persons who don't even leave their full addresses. Good day, Admiral. Gosh. Being passive bat aggressive. That missile, look, it's written something. Clearly a missile explosion like this could result in the writing of two flawless thin font riddles in the sky. But quick question. Why does the second one have three question marks and the first riddle only has one? Is it three times the difficulty? Is it three times as important? Our blackest fears confirmed. That's racist. What weighs six ounces sits in a tree and is very dangerous. A sparrow with a machine gun. Yes, of course. What weighs zero ounces is mostly hypothetical and is only harmful to people who can't take a joke. A sin! Yes, of course. But for their minimum objective must be the end. 
entire world. Setting the minimum without addressing the maximum. Is Batman saying they might be going for interstellar domination as well? Perhaps I could lure him into the fatal embrace of a giant exploding octopus. Making Burgess Meredith say this with whatever Penguin's version of a straight face is. I know the perfect weakness. I know the perfect weakness. Bruce Wayne. Villain coincidentally uses the alter ego of their super nemesis in a plan because they are conveniently too stupid to know it's the same f***ing person they obsess over every day cliche. Report these riddles to your police or, or perhaps to that masked Cossack Batman. Well, that's hardly necessary at the moment. Doubtless, it's the work of some harmless crank. Batsplating. Nevertheless, shall we give this matter further consideration over dinner tonight? Pardon me, batsplating in service of your bat boner. What has yellow skin and rights? A ballpoint banana. Right. Hold the lever, crank. I'm always astounded by Batman's labeling skills, but it does make me wonder, does he have long-term memory issues? Should we be worried about his cognitive decline? I've rarely met a girl who's such a potent argument in favor of international relations. Moments where Batman chooses to talk in the cadence and vernacular of a serial killer. Then we close in for the kill with the police. Wow, rarely do lines age as horribly as that one. This French song's on for all the sums. If we could just contrive some way of getting more deeply involved with each other. Oh, darling. Though we must search for such a method. Not pictured? Any deep involvement methods? Wait, can we see the buggy they are riding in again? Where is Bat Camera? It's been almost an hour. What the devil are they doing? No comment, Commissioner. Let's just say no sign of criminal activity. I mean, if they're doing it in the back of that open carriage, I think there are some indecency laws that might disagree with you. How perfectly wonderful of you. The only common theme between all four of the underdeveloped and overanimated criminals in this movie is that they all seem absolutely desperate to give themselves away. Mm, I close my eyes and I dream of those savage Cossacks. Damn, this movie is hornier than a brass band at an antler convention. No one in this movie calls this communication Meow's Code, and I'm not even sure I know who you are anymore, Batman 66. The f they literally have an invisible drone with him? Also, Bruce tries to get his f on, knowing damn well that Robin and Batford are supposed to be watching. Riddler takes down his binocular and his mask is clearly covering his eyes, as if he's suddenly one of those humans who spots things with their eyebrows. Twelve punches and scene does not contain a single BAM, BUFF, or KAPOW! This sub headline begging me to make a college girlfriend joke. Batman should have been here hours ago! I can't understand why Batman hasn't dashed into our trap. I can't understand why you're upset about this. The Joker's still working on the trap. You're actually lucky he hasn't shown up that you know of. So let's talk about the villain's plan. He puts his foot here, my secret jack-in-the-box fires, shooting him up through the window, out over the sea, into the waiting arms of Penguin's exploding octopus. Well, yeah, that about covers it. And nothing to link us with the crime. At this point, everything links you to this crime, and I'm pretty sure the movie knows that. And it knows that I know that. Therefore, it knows that I know- Ah, f it. Chewing your fingernails through your gloves. Damn you, Allowing the term mollycoddle to escape our modern vocabulary. Of course, that's probably because we aren't allowed to call anyone a mollycoddle anymore because they're too much of a mollycoddle to be able to handle it. Look in your gloves. Listen, people, gloves are like your filthy hands, except they get washed less. Keep that literal shit out of your mouth. Mr. Joker, would you drop one of your little dream pills into Commodore Schmidlap's tea? That's uh, not a pill, that's a red checker. I am merely going to temporarily extract every bit of moisture from your body. The average human has about 11 and a half gallons of water in them. So is that a 58 gallon tank on that thing? No, seriously, I'm asking, is it? I have no idea how much space a gallon of water takes up. Now, if it were milk, Trusting this Batarang to hold up anything heavier than a medium-sized potato. Also, why are we using the Batarang, a device that emulates a boomerang, to do this work when you could probably invent a grappling bat hook in your sleep? Quick! Everyone! Flee for your lives! Into the street! Getting everyone into the street, only to then bring the bomb to the street. This Batman can't find a place to dispose of a lit bomb joke has been going on so long that I'm fully rooting for the bomb now. Batman! Batman! It's all right, Robin. Making your sidekick roll credits twice before announcing you're actually okay. Stand by to catch him, Robin. I'll give him the bat gas. Making Robin wait for you to get back from your trip to Taco Bat Bell. 
After I give him the bat wake, we must be ready for anything. Or you could just let him sleep and hold open his eyelid for the scan. Just a thought. The drinking water dispenser is clearly marked. And that drinking water dispenser also dispenses heavy water, because before Gatorade, deuterium was known as the thirst quencher. Batman and Robin did not pat the penguin down for weapons. Or if they did, and were like, all he's got is a bunch of hoses and vials. Nothing weird about that. Coming, Batman. I'm coming at once. Thing many fans said after buying the original Batman, damned number one, somehow makes it into the script. Swallow this pill. And that's the entirety of the information Batman will give Robin about the plan to swallow what we later discover is an anti-penguin gas pill and let Penguin abscond with the Batmobile. Gotta keep the audience in the dark for another 10 seconds. Also, these two assholes get up in arms about drinking when they're just going around popping pills that have not gone through clinical trials. We'll be make sure we see an insert of the Batboys buckling their seatbelts earlier. But has both of them take this motorcycle ride completely helmet free. Disengage go-kart. It is fairly obvious that detaching the go-kart right here was not even a little necessary, unless the goal was to terrify Burt Ward. In this haphazard flipping of switches, he misses one of them over here on the right, and I'm beginning to wonder if these switches are even necessary. This could be the end. Yes, it could, but there could also still be a half an hour left, and you chose violence. Some luck, landing right on top of a bed of foam rubber. At a certain point, they have to consider the possibility that their god is just toying with them, right? Apples into applesauce, a unification into one smooth mixture, an egg, nature's perfect container, the container of all our hopes for the future. A unification in a container of hope? United World Organization! I think if you took some drugs to try and understand this movie, the drugs would be like, F if we know, and then we all grab a bowl of Fruity Pebbles and watch something else. This penguin gas backfires on Penguin, and even though only the one who dealt it smelt it, the other guy is the one who passes out. The dynamic duo has been silenced forever. Premature celebration returns. Everyone is too busy insulting each other's mother to notice other members of the Security Council being dehydrated. Since we're using this device again, another question. Is it also dehydrating the clothing? And if so, how does it know where the person and clothing end and the chair begins? I'm just saying this whole process, like most things other than deep frying a turkey, would be better if it included nudity. We cut from a close-up of an almost full tank to a wide shot where the tank has barely anything in it. And now I'm guessing this movie didn't leave much room in the budget for a continuity department. But why the f*** are the remaining ashes different pastel colors? What the hell? Taking off your hat as a sign of respect for Batman is the extent of police work in this city. Security Council! God. While these abductions are bad for the men and their families, the institution of the Security Council is still very much in place and only requires that different countries select new delegates to represent them. This is hardly the play the rogues think they've made and certainly shouldn't get them the billions of dollars they want in ransom. Down, if Kelsey Grammer shows up right now, I will take away all the sins or double them. It's hard to really know until it happens. Nothing can stop us now. Oh, and if this world runs out of lovers, we'll still love each other. But you fired the missile in Bay 1 last time. When the f*** did you have time to reload a missile that big? And why even try when you apparently have several other bays? Also, he misses two switches on the left this time. Now I'm positive these switches don't do sh Quickly now! Send a jamming signal! And by quickly, I mean after I waited for about a minute of evasive maneuvering before even mentioning this as a possibility. Farewell, Farewell, dynamic duo! Premature celebration forever! Five... Four... Three, two... I'm no longer sure if this is the Penguin or Count Von Count. It's changing every second. Thinking you could locate someone by staring at a light blinking behind a static image painted on glass. I completely forgot about this asshole. The stick tape to this tube holder and the hand we see manipulating it. All right, Robin, clip the back charges. They've had about enough, I imagine. You think? Robin took at least 15 of those shots without ever seeing the target, reaction, or having any idea if the dehydrated discount UN members were still okay. Reckless Robin really ran that ray gun ransacking ragged, right? Movie takes 90 minutes to finally pow. The end of this movie has reduced me to pointing out things like this guy, who pushes Robin out of the way so he can run past Batman and jump in the water. And the Riddler, who thought it looked like so much fun that he decides to forego his fight with Batman and take a dip himself. Bull voyage, Chrissy. Becoming an incel. This whole silly fight scene ends with Batman and Robin corralling all the bad guys in the water while they barely put up a struggle and then tying them to the submarine in a way that shouldn't be stopping anyone from escaping. At least I'm sure Catwoman is going to finally have her moment with this last ditch effort. Never mind. Oh, you heartbreak. It's Kid Cup. This f***ing song again. It's filled with human jetsome. Thing my collar. Where's my teeth? I completely forgot about this asshole. Again! 
Is there anything more ridiculous looking in the history of cinema than Batman wearing a chemist's apron over his bat suit? No, no there is not. Increase angstrom force in Vector X. I don't know how many angstroms it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop, but I do know it's usually used as a measure of distance and not force. The whole free world is waiting. Tell Batman I salute him and wish him luck. Then to be Johnson. Also, this office consistently refuses to be oval. Feed in the various ethnic and national factors. Well, with the way the world is and all, don't you think maybe we ought to try to improve those factors? Kind of reshuffle them a little? Robin makes an argument for diversity that involves non-consensual eugenics. We've taken a completely unnecessary hard turn off a bridge that could have been averted if only someone had killed Commodore Schmidlap when they had the chance. Man who can't wear a mask properly has been put in charge of an experimental procedure to reorganize people's molecules. Big surprise, it doesn't work. They all end up speaking the wrong language. And Robin just stood by and did nothing. What an asshole. Considering the amounts of dust in the earlier vials were vastly different from person to person, I'm going to say this even distribution spells failure, and probably some very disappointed or possibly excited people whose dimensions have suddenly changed. Checking nozzles. Checking nozzles. Checking nozzles. Bat excitement? Of all the things this movie attempts to absurdly explain, why the rehydration process needs to take place in this boardroom instead of a lab is not one of them. Prepare to rehydrate. Ready to rehydrate. Will you just f***ing rehydrate already? We will now play the sound of a Foley artist urinating for all of the some time. Half the shots of these tubes have no water in them, and yet the pee-inducing sound of trickling persists. Choosing a rehydration method that ensures every member of the Security Council ends up with a beaker stand in their ass. Finishing your movie by accidentally inventing cultural appropriation, which was never a thing before the 60s, ever. I hope you fought to your asshole falls. Ah! How did it go, Catwoman? The thought of busting Batman makes me feel all dirty. The fingers you have used to dial are too fat. To obtain a special dialing wand, please mash the keypad with your palm now. Hello, Admiral. A routine question. Where were the other drugs going? We haven't done anything foolish, have we? To hand over a billion dollar piece of equipment to a man who has welcome aboard tattooed on his penis. If I hadn't let your beauty blow me off guard, I must break you. You risked your life to save that riffraff in the bar? October 11th, October 12th, and 13th, and 14th, I was intoxicated. I drank all of those days. I drank in excess. Disengage, go kart. <laughs> Hold your breath as we cross the hall. That balloon's full of your own butt toots. Hey, I think somebody just shot a torpedo at us. Oh, shit, fuck, we get the hell out of here. Shut up, you feline fruity. You're just a woman with a small brain. With a brain a third the size of us. 